now you get to work with all your friends again, Anchorman 2. I noticed with Anchorman and Anchorman 2, it's like, especially uh, when Adam was on, he told me, he, he basically said, I love Adam, and he's always been a supporter of the show and of me, and I, I, I'm i internally grateful to Adam, eternally. But uh, what he said was it was basically be a who's who of comedy movies TV in Anchorman 2. Mm-hmm. Basically, if he could get the people, yep. they were going to be in it. Yes. So you get to act with all your friends in this movie. How, how's, how's that for you? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah. We already, we're done, you know. Yeah, you're done, right. Uh, you shot in Atlanta, right? Yeah. Um, here's the thing. We had to shoot in Atlanta, so a lot of the other people that probably would have just shown up for two lines yeah. couldn't quite do that, like all my other Chicago buddies that would have just been in every little turn, right? Sure. Right. That would have been truly amazing. Uh, but Georgia has a thirty percent give back. Yeah, so right. For every ten thousand, ten million dollars they spend, it was hard spend. to make this movie. Anyways, they've I been guess. trying for years to get I the know. budget for this thing, and Crazy. Paramount wouldn't give it to them, which right. is nuts. I know. But anyway, we got it done, so we're all happy. But it was really incredible. Every, every week, someone amazing would show so up. So we can expect some surprises in this oh, yeah. movie that haven't been announced and stuff. I hope so. There's plenty of, you know. Photo, uh, photo coverage of everybody that was in there. But, yeah, it was pretty incredible. Plus, the other thing is they don't know, even if that goose is it, because, you know, they're going to start laying this thing out, I think, as it gets closer. They're yeah. going to start saying who was in it and all that stuff. Um, but, yeah, yeah, just, what, just What's incredible. your arc in this film? Is, do you have a story arc for your character? Yeah, but here's the thing. We, shot, we, we shot so much that none of us know what the film's going to be yet. <laughs> That's good. And I'm not kidding. But there that's is, kind of interesting. There's so much footage. We we were all just shrugging our shoulders. So I don't know. Does that, does that make like it? That. Is that in? Is it from a lot of improv yeah. that you shot a lot of yeah. footage? Okay. There'd be a three-line scene that went into a five-minute scene. Yeah. Turned into a five-minute scene. Of course, you, can, you know, Adam is very... Adam is probably the smartest guy I know. He's amazing. And that's not being hyperbolic. That's just... He's that bright about anything. Not only just comedy, but any subject I think the guy could dissertate on. Mm-hmm. For a half an hour, and and you go, yep, he's convinced me. If he if he told me I could probably fly over a building, I'm like, wow, it sounds crazy, but you know what? McCabe convinced me. Here I go. Yeah. yeah, he's good. And so what Adam does now in this one, we call it the voice of God, or they call it the voice of God. He'd have speakers, and he'd have a micro home, microphone behind the the um, uh, monitors. That way, you don't have to get up every time and go talk and discuss. During the takes, he would just throw out alts to every character in the movie. While it was wow. going on, really amazing. So you have no idea how this is going to go. That is correct. That's I mean, crazy. I have an idea, but I mean, I, mean, well, I, yeah, I, I will know what the scenes were when I see them, but I don't know which scenes are going in around. We know the, the big storylines, <laughs> yeah. but the smaller stuff. It depends on what Adam decides he wants to do with the or, alts or whatever. And, whatever if works. Uses alts, then the movie tells you what it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'll you'll get in that editing room and go, "We need something else. What else do we have? Yeah. Oh my God, this works perfectly. That's great. Yeah." I can't. I can't wait for it. When's that come out? October, December twentieth. December. Oh, December. So away. the Oscars. Yeah. Right. That's, that's, that's right, right, baby. That's right. Going for that Oscar, champ. Kind. All right. Yeah. Are you willing to ever go back to TV? Oh, like I just a shot series? a pilot. I you shot did. a pilot for the History Channel of all places. It's really? a, I swear to God, it's a four camera sitcom <laughs> for the History Channel. I'm not yanking your chain. It's <laughs> it's called Whitey. It's basically <laughs> it's basically all in the family. It's an updated Carol O'Connor type, Archie Bunker type. Show. This is fast. Where yeah, it's a guy in the Midwest who's my age, and he is unemployed for seven months, and there's a lot of new ethnics in his neighborhood, and he doesn't get it. <laughs> oh he just man, doesn't get it. that sounds and great. It's on the History yeah. Channel. I well, love we it. hope so. We shot the pilot back in June. They're still waiting to say yes or no to the the series. Uh, if it did go to series, I I, I huh. think I'm told that it would be uh, January or February. Wow. But uh, and those are limited runs on cable, you know. So you'll get maybe twelve. I yeah, don't but know. That's exciting though. Oh, Thirteen brother, episodes on me. History Channel. It was even. so much that's fun too, great. and I think the show turned out Who else is great. In the cast? Um, Who's involved with this project? I didn't know about. This. I think Paige Davis might be the only name you know. Okay. And she was on Trading Spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but it, though, the rest of the cast is dynamite. Um, so I, I hope we get a chance. That's great. Uh, it was wow. a lot of fun to do. A lot of talented What's people the involved. Company History Channel. It? Do you remember? Uh, Leslie Greif was uh, yeah. yeah 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 just speaking of justified uh, no, no, no no he did the Hatfields and McCoys the Kevin and Costner ha- yeah, yeah Hatfields and McCoys Hatfields and McCoys so the, yeah they're doing everything for the uh, for the uh, History Channel now he's done several projects he's yeah. he's a busy guy he, he's got That's a lot right. of stuff up and coming but anyway he this is a project he had forever and when we did a rewrite on it 
And uh, I thought great. it turned out great. Really, really, really good. So I hope it gets a chance. We have our interview with Jeff Garland next. You did a curb. Yes. Uh, you did a curb. Do you think you'd, you'd do another curb? Or do you think is, is it so, you talk to it's Larry over. at all? Uh, they're coming back. Are they? Garland told me that with the Goldberg schedule that he has, because he's doing the Goldbergs on ABC, uh, which is a new sitcom, he said he left in this in the contract with ABC. If Curb comes back, I can go do Curb. That's too. great. So. Uh, Larry did a night of rewrites for Whitey with us. There, uh, really? Alan really? Bell was the head writer. Oh, and, Alan Bell. Yes, yeah. and who Dan did o- North, I believe. Right. Uh, is that is that right? They did know. the movie North with Elijah Wood. Maybe. I want to check on that. Go I ahead, think keep... he might have. He's, He's got a play he, coming out. He is. Lake. Yes, yeah. is his uh, it's Bunny, Bunny 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 yeah, yeah. about Gilda Radner. Yeah, I, t- I auditioned for that. Really, uh, twenty years ago in New York, I was terrible and, and <laughs> ill-suited for the role. I, but I don't know if you could play Gilda Radner. Maybe no, as as I thought I could. Uh, yeah, Alan's Weibel did do the story of us in North. Alan's, uh, but he's a great. Writer. He he's is a great amazing. Writer, he's yeah. an amazing guy. He's got amazing mind. So he's tight with Larry. Yes, they're best friends. Okay, and so. He was able to bring in, uh, uh, they're, they're about, well, he said at the night that they came by, and they couldn't stay too long for various reasons that I'm not going to get into right now. They were willing to. Um, there's a drama. There's a cliffhanger for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, Alan had assembled, as he said, there were 44 Emmys in the room for writing. Oh, this, this rewrite table. They got interrupted by an incident, but uh, and Larry was among them. Wow. So it was, crazy. it was a beautiful night. So there was more than Larry and Alan oh, there, too. Yeah. Who else was there? With God, I, I don't even want to start down the list because I'll forget <laughs> forget somebody. <laughs> nah, okay. It was an amazing night. It was that great of a room. Yes. So, so there is, without a doubt, if Whitey gets shoved aside by the History Channel, they fucked up. We uh, could say 44 uh, Emmys in a room. They probably. Uh, I wouldn't blame the up. History Channel. No? No. Okay, we'll blame someone else. Well, okay. there's no but blame. There's just, there's just things that happen. There could be stories <laughs> later, but not now. Okay. Sure, sure. So, but uh, Let it now is the Whitey rewrite that everyone did the script that you guys shot on? Partially, partially. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's all, all right. I need. That's on that. all we can get. There you go. Um, That'll do.